I guess there is no other way to talk about this than just you know starting it so someone asked me uh, can you suggest more courses to do related to Java because I have completed this course okay and from there I want to talk a bit about these things mainly that doing such small courses is fine okay it's all right you have the time do it it is more important to do solo projects on your own okay and it is far more important to be able to show that project to a non-technical person okay it is that's the basic whole video that i'm going to talk about whatever you are trying to do a non-technical person who is not no doesn't know about your particular language or field that much or zero basically he should be able to understand or not understand he should be able to see what you have done what kind of a thing you have made okay he should be able to see that is crucial and second thing instead of doing small little projects that is based on a language do a something a combined thing okay don't just limit your just if you say like you know what we are i'm going i have been learning java i'm going to make a project in java that's not the only thing you should do combine a project okay and that combines a few languages maybe java is a focus on that okay but it should be somehow deliverable it should be somehow uh, like someone could see it okay and if possible run it that's important okay let's start with an example back a few months ago uh, i was doing a course on coursera the php course i think charles charles was the teacher yeah anyways i just followed that course it got a bit complex later for me the course itself wasn't that complex and i made a local application i did not deploy it anywhere okay i did not know how to deploy it i i made it locally as you can see right now okay this was the application i make it it's on local host local host crud okay it's a basic login application very simple even i think anyone just starting to program understands that understands how simple it is sorry i'm out of breath yeah see the number of views on this channel on this video 30 before i talked to a few people about this video it had like 10 views okay hardly maybe even less than that i think in four or five i had four or five views but what i did I made a small video and if you will see this video you will understand that it's not complex okay the way I, I have tried to show it is the way you will try to show it to a client okay and I'm not telling you to be a freelancer it doesn't matter if you want to be a freelancer or not okay even if you just want to be an employee have your safe secure job safe secure because AI but yeah the point is if you see this video okay let me just show you small clips uh, all i have done is i uh, talked about how you know this is going on how the validation is going everything okay and i did not do this on my own this was part of the project part of the course that i was doing okay but in this small video i was able to uh, convey that you know i have worked on this i know what is going on every here in the current world ever since llm large language models chat gpt and everything came around it is it has become infinitely more difficult to determine who is a genuine person and who isn't something like this will help you stand apart it will okay now i worked on the model i worked on the project even though I didn't understand a lot, not a lot, few things, some completely went out of my head. But I completed it. Okay. I completed it. I showed it. And I, you know, 
made a small video about it i put it on my linkedin profile or nokri profile whichever uh, whichever the main uh, uh, job hunting site is wherever you are in the world okay if for india it's nokri linkedin indeed all the sites upwork if you are looking for a client i just put it there okay based on this video you had like four or five views i got a job offer just on this video i got a job offer on this video the only reason i didn't took it it was uh, it was a good offer actually the reason i didn't took it it was going to a client's location and then coming back in hindsight i should have no I, the main thing is i wanted to be a, an, another story point i'm saying is just because i did this i made it look presentable okay you can make a very complex application in this people keep sending me amazing applications for my website you if you look at my website yeah you can see what how this is okay uh, people keep sending me examples or how to improve it okay i don't want improvement this is a functioning site okay i want this to work all the time i don't want any <laughs> react native or anything because i am the one using it if you see the 21000 views um, 20000 views would be mine okay i have to use this website constantly for my work and i like speed okay if you open the website and you will see everything loads in milliseconds okay and that's the reason my site is as it is anyways point that's not the point the point is people have done more complex stuff than this video and yet they do not get hired because what they do they will put it on at most most of the time they will just put it on their resume a small line that oh i have done this project god knows where it is that's why whenever i talk to some i tell them if you are putting a project in resume either add a website link where they can go and check it out or or best thing is show a video like this okay it's crucial that is for the employee side now let's get to a freelancing side you cannot see it here actually okay what you don't see here is oh you can see 100 plus earnings uh the before the first job that i ever had was a transcription job okay i'm still the owner of the go transcript group on facebook uh, along with my sister so yeah there i got i made a profile on this upwork okay and i put in a sample transcription i found a youtube video okay online i just transcribed 1 minute of it okay to show an example that i have done this i transcribed 1 minute of it actual work put it on my profile so, uh, in the document okay along with other details like uh, i know this and that and everything and i got hired i got this offer immediately uh his, his the good guy was from germany i think he gave five stars yeah here it is okay and remember this was a new profile it didn't have much thing all it had was all it had an example of the work that i am looking to do so it doesn't matter if you are an employee doesn't matter if you want to be a freelancer doesn't matter if you are in college make something okay the, the first steps would be whatever you have made no matter how small make it uh, visible okay if deploying it on some site a uh, very good website is render.com okay is it render i do not remember uh it should be still on my profile yeah on render yeah render.com you can deploy one free application there okay you can deploy <laughs> uh <laughs> anyways see so, yeah, i deployed it 
okay so that anyone can see it anytime but i have removed, removed it since okay point is point is when i made a little project uh, for uh, python i did the same thing i showed it on my profile okay if you cannot deploy it like i did if you cannot deploy it okay then at least make a small video of it and it is important i know a lot of you are not comfortable with it but it is important to show your face okay it is important i don't know if you have watched death note but uh, we are human beings and we trust on eyesight if we see a person we trust him more okay if we see them we trust them more so it is important to show your face it is important to speak okay and talk about your project because like it or not you will be talking to clients either as an employee or you know, by god's grace a freelancer okay most of the companies that are hiring you they are on upwork <laughs> i remember getting call from a company and i was like let me check their details out all they did was got two or three projects from upwork then they distributed it amongst their team and <laughs> the whole company I, I in fact i have worked for a company yeah i forget when the, when i was a project manager it all they did was take projects from upwork that's all they did <sighs> so yeah it is important whatever you are making to show it okay whatever you have made to show it somehow and second thing second thing oh uh, yeah first a little side note on the first thing if you are completely new to something follow a youtube tutorial about a project okay just follow a small project follow a small tutorial do line by line everything he has done okay once that video is over and once your project is complete start tinkering it start changing little little values and try to understand what is causing what okay once you have that a bit level of understanding make a video on it okay make a video on it. and this was the first important thing second thing is it doesn't matter what language you are in it should either deploy it okay oh no uh, second point is don't stick to a particular language or a framework okay it can be your main focus of the project it can be a main focus of your project but it doesn't have to be everything it doesn't have to be everything you can tell me that you are going to write an ex excellent python application but it but all the output it gives is in uh, terminal okay that doesn't look good i can hear a lot of you shouting but technical companies look for this they want more depth you are right but the biggest hurdle in you getting to that person who knows what he is talking about getting to your ceo or cto or a tech manager there is a bigger person in between who knows absolutely nothing about anything and we call them hr okay <laughs> we call them hr they know nothing about anything okay and uh, most tech companies i don't know why they do it but it is i have said this as a joke but it is real even the sweeper even the you know guy who cleans the toilet in a tech company he should know a bit about tech okay and that's how crucial it is and these companies they keep hiring hr from other departments point is they are dumb they will not be able to open an application deploy see a terminal and judge that how good you are okay and they will see a video okay this looks good okay this is happening talk in your videos as they are dumb okay it might seem <laughs> a terrible idea but that's how i have got hired every time that i have got hired 
is to tackle those person anyways so yeah whatever you are doing deploy it on github deploy it publicly if you can make a video make a short video about it do not enable monetization on that video make it on a separate channel you cannot enable monetization otherwise it will be removed from upwork which is where you will find yourself in a few years anyways okay few videos just to showcase your work and keep sharing those videos to your linkedin profile add those alongside the github project link or in, instead of adding the github link just add the video link and in the description just add the github link second thing don't just focus on java if it's like you know don't just focus on one language okay programming is something that like i was learning java but i got hired in python i was doing python for quite some time then i started doing unity <laughs> c sharp programming it, it doesn't really matter that much okay so once you have mastered one language you will see that it is becoming easier to move between languages unless you are you know very specific like in banking sector or you know learning cobol or something you will see a lot of the uh, thought process frameworks not the actual framework i mean the way you build application that scaffolding it keeps on you you can just take here and put it somewhere else okay and you have to show that somehow and if you feel say remember you have to start someday okay you have to smart start someday <sighs> that's all i don't want to stretch this a bit more but let's say uh, before ending this recently started uh, godar programming i just followed bracky's latest video to make a game so if i was to you know talk about this i will go hi guys this is my game as you can see okay let me be a bit serious filthy <laughs> cats um, this is a game i made okay by following a tutorial online okay and uh, i what i've learned from godor programming is that it has a lot of things it has a lot of things that makes make learning uh, that makes learning the programming and I, i need to rest just give me a moment sorry uh, you know what I, i won't be able to do it now i'm really tired and the main thing is i haven't tinkered with it i have just followed the tutorial i need to give it some time okay i will give this game a few uh, i will change a lot of things because this is basically his tutorial okay i have not changed a lot any major thing okay but i will i plan to change a lot of the things here but where are the three coins i changed a lot i will change a lot of things here and once i do that and i will take you know understand start to understand quite a few things then i will then i will make a video on it okay that is important thing okay that's very important what people do is uh, you you can't just follow a tutorial and make a video on it you have to have that understanding that understanding is what people look for okay now if i was going to talk about this game i will come here i will show this but i will not only show the game i will close the game and i will so the whole code okay i will talk through everything like you can see we have made a game manager that keeps a tab of this code and if you will see the script of the game manager you can see that where is it uh, here it is sorry yeah that's the game manager file i am changing the text that you are seeing on the screen here and when the score reaches that fixed number 13 that i have put uh, you get a different text that says nice at the end we have used a tile map okay and we have we, we can actually change 
quite a few things in the background right now I accidentally put these in the background tile it should not be like that okay these should be part of the mid tile anyways so as you can see these enemies uh, they are not translating from this position to this position they are actually translating from any object so if I were to actually do something like this if I do this and I increase the size of let's say this just a second okay now if I do something like this save it and run it you will see since it is coded that way as every <laughs> I played this so many times that I, I got confused so as you can see as you can see they are still coming to this position so I have not made them fixed it's a bit of dynamic programming okay I plan to do a lot more things with them mainly when they come here they start going down from here now you will you know you will see this video and be like what kind of a pathetic video is this uh, these kind of pathetic videos gets you higher anyways that's all and see you guys soon